Be shot this far. He is a good player, a very amazing player, in fact. Okay, and Valentino proving that he is also. Oh, they're just going straight yeah, into they're going it. Straight for it, Mr. Uh, I, I did not have a chance to change the name. Pulling up his pants, adjusting his shirt, sitting back down on the chair, and now he's ready to go. Uh, so we're actually going to start with the DK, which I think I've seen a lot of uh, kind of shout doing that today. All right, so this is going to be loses round six, top eight, I believe. Oh no, loses quarters actually. Loses quarters. Shao beating Thorn in a two-one. Oh, the the mouse is glitching. The mouse is glitching. Okay. Oh, oh, uh, the are very much even, but uh, as we've seen in the past, kind of the percentages don't really matter with DK. You can kind of get him as high as you want. If you're not taking that stock. Uh, he always does have that opportunity of kind of just stealing it from you. Which Shao definitely kind of likes to keep that uh, that charge punch, uh, the monkey punch, for quite a while, picking his opportunities, especially in the corner, uh, where he can armor a few things with it. Here we go. He's been sticking to his guns with the DK lately too. Like he has a very good Samus, but for the most part, he seems to just want to concentrate on the DK. I feel like I'm seeing the the DK game one a lot, and if it's not working out, I'm seeing the Samus a lot. Game two and three uh, has been kind of the pattern of always the set that I've watched of his tonight. I think it's a mix of he really enjoys playing DK, so he wants to try to make it work. Yeah. But I don't, I don't know about this matchup though. Yeah, this is gonna be tough, but again, it, I love that he needs the tag because he's my man's literally just hitting up smash, <laughs> and it's kind of working. <laughs> oh no! If there's one way to tilt your oh. opponent, that's gonna be it. Yeah, Valentino just uh, hitting up smash for a solid 10 seconds there, and uh, yeah. poor DK's body's way too big. Can't really make it past there. If you are gonna play DK against a character like Snake, though, you have to be ready for that. You can't let it tilt you. Yeah, as you annoying as it is. Yeah, you gotta be ready for it, and you gotta be kind of hitting your advantage state really, really hard to make kind of a comeback. Because you are gonna be at a percent deficit for most of the game. You are gonna be hitting it by more moves, but you've just gotta make kind of do with what you what you can find really. Another thing to point out is I don't know when if Shadow's like cooled down or not, but I can't, I, Valentino is warmed up. He just played back. He just played. Fair enough. Uh, how, how did that set go? I like your Oh, that's e was, was it for you? Oh, no one's answering. Against me. Valentino? Against, it against was, Valentino Bash. It was 2 1. 2 1 for, uh, for Bash. Well, yeah. Interesting. Here we go. I'm sitting at such a high percent here, and that's the down throw. Not quite going to combo into the up tilt quite yet, but the forward tilt is going to do it. That was smart. He yeah. held it at ledge. Yeah, beautiful Nikita placement there from Valentino. Just kind of having it hover around the ledge, catching him. Quiz with the fresh cut, no cap, no sir. I'm showing off the hair this week. I'm really, uh, I'm, I'm kind of expecting a change to of Samus? characters. That's yeah. what I kind of hope. I, I feel like it'd be a lot easier for him to go that character. Absolutely. Smashville is a risky pick for uh, for Shadow to be making here. Snake is so so strong in the stage cry. So strong. You put that C4 down on the middle pot and you control so much space. Yeah, but the question is, does Samus have to even get past it? Not really, but a lot of grenades are kind of going to get in the way of kind of what she wants to do. Although, Shao Kani mean, not really being a, uh, a missile heavy Samus, prefers to kind of let his charge shot kind of sit with him and not really do a lot of uh, a lot of zoning. Kind of a lot of jumping, a lot of using his aerials. Ooh, that's no tech. You're about to see... One thing that's kind of risky about playing so many characters is the... Having to warm up to the other one. No matter how good you are, some people do take some time to adjust. Just a little bit. Doing very well, though. Evened it up. Has him in disadvantage. Yeah, he's got a little bit of a percent lead on top of that try. And I, I like what Shao's trying to do. He's trying to leave uh, the down B on the like platform mm -hmm. to cover the landing. Yeah, it's a super, super strong option. Uh, I mean, Snake, you're not going to be ledge trapping super often just because of, he typically kind of avoids the ledge with those high recoveries. But those bombs make it really, really tricky to kind of just maneuver. Oh, if there's one all the way around. If there's one thing we could look forward to when Shao plays, it's going to be that movement. He does schmooze. I have never seen a Samus wall jump, and uh, I saw it today. <laughs> I saw it today when I was playing him. So, shout out to Shao. That's my kill here. Yeah, the up, the yeah. down air to up air. I will say, Shao has played a lot of Bashmo, and he's played a lot of Killian. So he's definitely got some Snake XP under his belt. Along with a lot of Ottawa Smash, we've got quite of uh, quite. Oh my God, that grab! We've got quite a few uh, snakes in the region. So you're not lacking matchup experience. It's just a matter of we've got so many good snakes that it's, even if you do know the matchup, it's still going to be a good fight. Yeah, that's true. They all play differently as well. Absolutely. You've got, oh my goodness. Ooh, down to right now, just kind of taking all the lead. Shao is not playing around anymore. Go, shield and grenade. 
and oh, a little boost pivot still, a little boost pivot still there from Xiao. All these just like slightly charged and uncharged uh, neutral bees are just letting him. I'm forgetting the name of all the moves the right shot? now. Jeez. Yeah. Um, one thing I feel like I don't see enough from Xiao, which we're seeing now, which I'm really appreciating, is just the the lesser charges of neutral bee, kind of the neutral. Uh, he tends to kind of just sit on that full charge try and kind of find find his moments with it. But I'm feeling like I'm seeing a little bit more of those uh, those little blips once in a while. It yeah, might be nice. matchup dependent as well. Like against sure. Snake, he's trying to be faster to stop him from keeping all the control. Yeah, absolutely. Well, here we go. I mean, Valentino's kind of wrestled the stock back. Oh, the Nikita. Yeah. I, I think gonna... Valentino was too concentrated on hitting him with that Nikita that he died out. I'm pretty Most sure that's why. Yeah, he was hold he was holding to the right to get the Nikita go there, but uh, unfortunately, if you're preemptively dying that move, that was so clean. That was a really nice rolling up tilt and uh, forward tilt, up tilt. What move is that big kind of uh, crescent kick? Honestly, giving Skylar a platform is horrifying. He's so good at manipulating I... them. <laughs> I was sitting there like trying to pick my game, my game for like my stage game three, and like Yoshi's is usually a pretty big comfort pick for myself. And I went, if I go Yoshi's, this man is gonna be on the top plot for the entire game. There is no way I'm letting this happen. Oh yeah, he he he's really good at those tri plots. He moves around like crazy. Loves. Right now has a very crazy lead. Yeah, hitting that charge shot, getting some good damage and some stage there from it, and setting up these bombs, trying to look for another trap, another charge shot, but it's not gonna hit. Try. Ooh, four tilt though. A missile for missile. What is going on? <laughs> Manages to recover too. Yeah, beautiful. Shallow stalling his recovery here off the ledge, went right back to it, and he's gonna lose his stock for it. Yeah. But 137, is it too late? Can Valentino make the comeback? It's definitely not out of the question, but if he keeps taking big hits like this, it's looking further and further from the truth. Uh, so, this up air. another thing I should say about Skylar is he's always one of the people that have claimed that, like, well, people complain Snake is broken. He's like, nah, he's not that bad. Like, you just gotta learn to fight him. Forward I mean, tilt, gonna take it? <laughs> forward tilt from Xiao, evening up the, uh, the game down to 1-1. One, one. Yeah, I mean, he definitely kind of, uh, his tagging game is he needs it right now. He's definitely kind of part of the whole kind of snake, uh, snakes in mid-tier me meme meta or, or what have you. But uh, I think Valentino deep down knows, like, my character's pretty good. The character's good. You just, you can't let yourself fall too far behind, but you also can't get desperate. You definitely can't get desperate. If you're running into those grenades on the, on the, uh, on the use, it's yeah. going to be uh, big trouble. Yeah, if you can't hit with those grenades, you have to find a way to trick them into them. Yeah, for sure. And well, back to Smashville, surprisingly enough. It's a good uh, stage for both of them. It's very good stage for both of them, but I'm surprised um, Valentino would come to the stage after kind of what uh, Game 2 looked like. Yeah, I know for some people, they'll be like, it's not the stage, I just didn't play well. Yeah, for sure. But Absolutely. yeah, sometimes when it is that rough, sometimes it is good just to give yourself a different feeling. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, that's why you see lots of sets kind of just go on PS2 the whole time. It's just like, let's just play a straightforward thing. Let's start all really well. Just, ooh, the C4 just sticking at the ledge there. Shao hanging out a little too long. Yeah, right now Valentino showing us he's pretty comfortable here as well. Up tilt, not quite enough. Oh. Making it as hard as possible for Shao Kanye to land here. Oh. Valentino throwing things out, and there's that four tilt. Samus is heavy, but not heavy enough. Yeah, only 29%. Looking much, much better this game three. Try to correct me if I'm wrong. We're still in best of three territory here in losers' quarters. We are, and it's. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. This is a very rough start for uh, Shao. Looking very, very good for Valentino here with a uh, almost a full, pretty much a full stock lead there. Oh, that little one jab one is so, so tricky to use with Samus. You pretty much gotta mix up your option after the fact because it's just, it's just not safe. Yeah, the other thing that would be a little tilting is there's a lot of kind of weird interactions happening, mm. and Skylar's just being on the rough end of them. Mm. So that that's very good for Valentino in the sense he's getting the damage and winning in the mental game as well. Yeah, for sure. And I mean, with these zone interactions, I feel like you need to know your character, but you also need to know your opponent's character quite well to, to kind of know how all these projectiles and all these different kind of moves are going to drag. Oh, Shao, no! I accidentally SDs. Yeah, a little bit of SD there. Very rough here. Two stocks down. We're seeing the mental game crumble right now. Yeah, Shao's kind of kind of have to start holding forward on the uh, on the gray stick, and uh, it's not really what you want to be doing too recklessly against Snake, as we just discussed. Yeah, throwing out some things, getting a little, some little hits, but he's got to find this stock sometime soon. Valentino with great parries on the uh, on the charge shots. Throws an up smash. Ooh, he went for the forward smash. He wanted it, or maybe he was an Akita. Either way, he's not making that back. The Cypher getting blown up and uh, no air dodge from uh, Valentino. I wouldn't say undoable, but Skylar's going to have to keep all the control. Has to try to avoid everything, take as little damage as possible. 
doing a very good job of it right now. Yeah, and, and I mean that's really that's really the tricky part, right? Is not taking that damage to kind of put you further into a, into like a percent deficit, because Snake just relies on those those uh, those trades so heavily with the grenades. Yeah, it's honestly hard not to get nicked. Good C4 coverage. Good charge job, but it's gonna get shielded. And here's a re grab, wall jumps, but uh, there's no, a lot of bombs movement here. Very, very kind of very good aerial momentum or aerial kind of control, I should say, on that bomb. Yeah. Oh, watch as the C4. Got some chanting. I don't really, really catch the name of the character, but. Uh, oh, no. Scary Ooh, charge out. There's that forward throw. The Nikita's coming out for the edge guard, and that's gonna hit, but it's not gonna kill quite yet. Another one coming out, laying it over, and that down smash just barely whipping. Here comes some jabs in the back throw, not killing quite yet. Trying to force him into the C4, but Shao does not fall for it. Grenades covering even a yeah. full charge. See, that's the thing, right? Oh, the grenades are going to be able to kind of block all those charge shots, so if they're out, it's very tricky. There's that dash attack from Valentino ending the set. Uses that. Is it invincibility or invulnerability? Uh, I never remember. Dash attack? Yeah. It has that on startup. Uh, so intangibility is Intangible. nothing. Can, nothing. Nothing can touch you. Uh, and then invincibility is you can interact with things, but you just, they just want to hit you basically. You can still go grab them. Fairly certain. Anyways, I'm thinking Try is heading away from the uh, the commentator couch here, the the desk, as per se. Uh, now, oh, I think it's because he's gonna go play. Uh, this is winners finals, I believe. Valentino, oh, no, not Valentino. What I'm 